Hi, this is Joey Picard with Mass Bay Youth Lacrosse League, and this is part one of our tutorial on using your town's team app. We've built a team app for every town program in MBYLL, preloaded with features we think you'll get a lot of use out of this season. Our goal now is to show you how easy, convenient, and all-encompassing this tool is. It can and should basically serve as your program's email, instant messaging, resource library, and social media hub all in one easy-to-use application. Great for smartphones, but equally as effective for desktop use as well. In this first part, we're going to show you some of the basics of membership organization and access group management. And we're showing you this on the desktop version. So step one is getting familiar with the layout. In this screen, the home screen is one that the parents and coaches and players will see when they log on to your town's team app. All of the features are laid out across the top of the page in the form of links. But on the smartphone version of your app, which we'll show you in a moment, these will be in the form of buttons in two columns which they can click and access the content of each unique feature. Now as an admin for your town's team app, you're going to want to get familiar with the admin dashboard located up here in the top right next to the gears icon. And this is a view that only you can see, you and anyone that you give full administrative access to the app, and that's something that we'll get into in a moment. But as mentioned, this is what your smartphone version will look like. It'll have your town's colors and logo co-branded with the MBYLL circle and motto to teach, grow, and honor the game. It'll have 12 preloaded buttons, which was put in there for your ease and convenience. In a future tutorial, we'll show you how to change the look and feel of your team app, both the smartphone and the desktop version, as well as playing around with the different features and buttons. But right now, we really want to focus on getting users, putting them into access groups, and managing your membership. And so the first place we really want to start when getting ready for our season is in the access groups. And again, we're in admin dashboard view. So right here under access groups, you're going to discover that we've preloaded a bunch of different groups for you. And essentially, these are just different groupings of people who have different roles and responsibilities in your town app. So that when you have information, you can compartmentalize and, and get it to the right people. And you'll discover that we've given you a different group for each of our levels. You'll have one for your board members, you'll have one for your coaches, and you'll have one for MBYLL leadership, which can also include members of your town who serve on a committee or at the region, uh, regional or league-wide level. You'll notice some of them have a locked icon and some of them don't. And the ones that do have the lock, I lock icon mean that in order to get into that access group, they need special permission, permission that you will be able to grant them. So you'll receive an email as full admin of your team, uh, of your team app with a request, and that's something that I'll, I'll demonstrate in a moment. Um, the others, anybody who joins them will automatically be placed into that group without special permission. Now if you want to change that, let's say you don't want anyone to join your coaches group, but you want them to basically apply to be in that group, we do that by editing this particular access group. And you'll see that there's an option here for requests to auto-approve access requests. And if you don't want that feature, you unclick that. And when you save that, you'll notice that your access group list changes, and now that becomes a locked group that they need your permission to enter. Um, let's say your town doesn't offer a U9 program, and therefore you don't need or want this particular access group. So getting rid of this group is as simple as, again, editing this particular group, and up here in the top right hand corner, deleting the group. Now you will no longer have U9 as one of your options. But let's say you wanted to add a group. Let's say you have a booster club, a group of parents who aren't necessarily board members, but they raise some money and resources for you, and you want them to have their own special access group on your team app. So in this access group page, you're going to click on New Access Group. You're going to name them whatever you want, and in this case, we'll do Booster Club, and we'll give them access to all the available features. We will not click on Auto Approve. This is something that we want to make sure that they request access to this group. And when you go back and save it, you'll see that that's one of your access groups. So this is something you can definitely play along with and see and discover which access groups have which access to which features. And that's what this chart is for. And we, you've also heard us talk about 
full admin access because there's also something called restricted admin access which you control and this is giving some people in your organization the ability to post things but not necessarily change the features and the buttons and the look and feel of your website so now that you know how to control and manage your access groups the, the real challenge is getting the people to join your team app so we're gonna go to the invite promote button and take a look at what our options are now the best practice in our opinion is to get your members to join team app on their own there's more ownership that way there's more incentive to take this tool seriously and there's less confusion from folks who are added automatically and have no idea what this is or, or why they've been added to it. So the best two functions to use are to either announce your app via email or to request a custom brochure. And when you request a custom brochure, you'd simply put in your name and telephone number and email address. And when you hit that request button, in literally a matter of moments, you're gonna have a, a, a brochure PDF sent to that email address, which then you can distribute to all of your members. You can email them or hand out hard copies at registration, however you need to promote your team app. And this is what it would look like. It would announce that your town has its own app. It would show a picture of what the smartphone would look like and very explicit instructions on how to download team app from the Apple or Google App Store, um, how to sign up for it, create an account, which is free and always will be, how to find your town's team app, how to choose the access group and we already got into the different groups that they can uh, be a part of and for those who don't have a smartphone we give them the desktop URL link so that they can uh, they can access the desktop version of it this is a great feature again totally free and very very quick and this is something that you'll be able to distribute to all of your members to get them in but then you'll have members and again we're gonna go back to our admin dashboard to take a look at this you'll have members who request to be part of one of those locked groups and I have one as a demonstration we have an individual whose name is Lax Coach who is trying to get into the board members in the MBYLL leadership group and they're always required to give a reason and so they say I'm a parent and a coach and a board member for Lax Town which is our fake demo team app and you as the admin of this group have the ability to approve, deny, or possibly edit. Uh, so let's say for example that Lax Coach is in fact a member of your board but accidentally clicked on MBYLL leadership. We would click on the edit button and we would add him to the board members. Maybe they're also a booster club member but forgot to add that in there. But they're not a member of your MBYL leadership. Now maybe this is somebody you want to give restricted admin access to, especially at the U13 level, maybe at the board level and the coach level. And then by simply clicking save, that member was successfully updated. And so we'll take a look at our membership list. We're a small group here in Laxtown. We only have one full admin and one coach who has restricted admin but eventually you could have as many as hundreds of members join your team app and so the other features you have to play with here in the membership section is you can export a CSV file of all of your members you can import more members you can add individual members or you can bulk edit in groups and, and one thing that this is particularly important for is at the end of your season when all of your sixth graders, for example, who are now rising seventh graders, they're going to be moving to the U15 group. Rather than changing that one member at a time, this feature here allows you to bulk edit all of those together. So it's a really fantastic feature for you. So that's this tutorial showing you basically how to access and work with your access groups and get members. In our next tutorial, we're going to show you how to add news and events and play around with other great features such as your chats and your photos and your social media. So stay tuned for part two and thanks for watching part one.